Hi everyone. So lately we've been trying to simplify and automate a few tasks in content management and form creation using small Python scripts. Our current workflow when we digitalize paper forms to open our three forms is that we'll take all the questions, the answers, the skip logic, and then put everything into metadata spreadsheets in Excel. Then the content management team will review each of them and try to map them, each concept, to existing standard terminology and dictionaries like SNOMED, ICD, and for example, CL also that is available in Open Concept Lab. What they will also do is try to have preview as quick as possible for the end users to test and give feedback on those forms. So actually, I can give you an example with a small uh, mental health assessment form called the PHQ-9. And let's say that I'm a content manager. I will go through the form and I see that the first question is little interest in doing things. I will go on Open Concept Lab looking for this question. And yeah, that question exists. It seems in CL, the definition is fine. Data type is okay. So it seems that I can use that concept. So I'm copy pasting the external ID, going back to the metadata spreadsheet, and I will paste manually this external ID for the team to review and build a form. So you see that process is quite manual and can take days and sometimes weeks of work, depending on the number of forms and the number of questions or answers. So what we did is that we actually created a small script match your script that will do the job for us if i run it it will look into my metadata and go through cl and msf source in open concept lab and return all the possible matches for those concepts so here we go we have actually we are quite lucky 100 percent matches for that form php9 um, so 15 concepts total so actually let's go back to the metadata and if we reopen them we'll see that the script also added suggestions directly in the excel spreadsheet so for example here we see suggestions coming from the, the msf source and also from the cl source so the content management team can review and decide which one to use and validate them same for the answers you already have all the answers and all of them have been found so let's say that this form looks good. It's ready for to build a preview form in OpenMOS. So what we did is same. We build a small script that will actually build the JSON schema for us. So it's called the converter. If you have a better name, please uh, say it in the in the comments. And then when it runs, it will simply generate the JSON schema for OpenMOS three. So here we go. We have the schema. And then we can copy paste it in, in the form builder UI or put it, put it in the initializer or configuration files and same for the translations. So all that is ready to be used. So going back to uh, mental health forms, we actually started in, in Iraq in six mental health forms for which we had 1600 um, concepts, including question and answers. We wanted to look into two sources, CL and MSF, and using the small script, it took less than three minutes to complete the auto match, uh, which gave us like almost 40% matches. So it saved a lot of time for the content management team. Same for the preview of the forms. To generate the six forms and their translations, it took less than two seconds. Uh, so it's like 200, 54 questions and almost 1,000 answers. So uh, what's next for those small scripts is probably to see if we can automate other recurring tasks like the creation of concepts when they are missing or adding concepts into collections to use them faster into the implementation. Also fine-tuning the the automatch model to make sure that it's more and more accurate and we have more and more chances to have suggestions without having too many false positives. Um, and also align on 
the overall uh, approach of the packages lately. So build like mental health forms where you have the uh, mental health packages where you have the forms and you have also, uh, for example, clinical dashboards. So we want to align on that. And maybe also, for example, improve the performance, improve the script, support languages, and any suggestion is more than welcome. So if you're interested, you can try it out. You can scan the QR code. It's all available on GitHub. Um, it's documented. But if you have any questions, please let me know. And it's also entirely uh, configurable. So if you want to add more sources, if you want to add more forms, it's all configurable. So thank you so much.